Hi guys, so uh, this is my um, Pimeroni uh, Picade Mini uh, from Kickstarter which I've had a couple of months now and you may have seen in a previous video. Um, since uh, I put that video up a couple of months ago I've done a few changes so I just thought I'd show you a couple of things that I've done uh, to make the Picade Mini better. Uh, so the first is a few things around the back. Um, so I've uh, got a keyboard here which I bought from Pimeroni. This is a um, uh, ultra mini wireless keyboard. It's about 25, 26 quid from Pimeroni from their website and um, it really is actually fantastic. It's um, wireless USB with a built-in rechargeable USB battery um, and it it's works faultlessly. Uh, it's got a mini trackpad which is brilliant. So I use this for all my um, config of my Picade because I'm actually using uh, Windows on a mini ITX board. Uh, so this is actually invaluable for um, sort of setting everything up and getting it all working. I've just put a couple of Velcro strips on the back um, and that just attaches neatly at the back there and keeps it out of the way um, but makes sure it's sort of readily, readily available for when I need it. So the other quick thing I've done is um, I've set up some, uh, some USB uh, ports here uh, and um, these are actually uh, just cables internally to the mini ITX board and they're um, arrow dighted down here into place uh, but it just means that when I'm plugging um, micro USB sticks in or something like that uh, it's very easily very easy just to stick the uh, the USB in there and away I go it means I don't have to keep opening things up so uh, that's the uh, that's the first sort of uh, upgrade that I've made uh, and the second one uh, is around the Arduino board so uh, with the Arduino board uh, because I bought a Picade Mini um, it comes with uh, two four six seven eight nine 10 buttons plus four for the joystick which is 14 but I was aware that the uh, the mini um, PCB printed circuit board that Pimeroni shipped with the Picade had um, a, a whole other bank of button possibilities that, that on the mini weren't utilised uh, and I think only four of the six are utilised on the maxi uh, so I was quite keen to um, have a go at trying to update the, um, the uh, Arduino uh, keyboard mapping config to try and make use of those extra buttons so you can see here that um, I have actually now got uh, an additional six buttons um, on my Picade and uh, I just got these black buttons off eBay um, but they uh, they fit in very nicely down here they're quite discreet uh, when the uh, uh, they're sort of not obtrusive um, uh, and so if I just show you uh, inside here um, you can see the um, whoops you can see the um, uh, the mini printed circuit board here, um, which Pimeroni supply, and uh, there is a bank here of um, uh, six additional buttons which I've I've wired in. Um, the hard part wasn't at all the physical side; it was updating the uh, Arduino, uh, and uh, that that was a a bit of a pain because, as I say, I'm kind of a, a traditional Windows person uh, and I couldn't get the uh, Arduino PCB to play ball at all with Windows 7 or 8. Uh, it wouldn't recognise it as a uh, Leonardo Arduino board, which is what it needs to do in order for you to remap, uh, update the mappings. So uh, what I had to do is actually um, uh, get friendly with Ubuntu and uh, I installed that on a, a USB and then onto a, an old hard drive that I had and uh, using the Arduino IDE on Ubuntu I was able to update the, um, uh, the Arduino uh, Leonardo board. So now I've got six additional buttons and I was also uh, for me crucially able to remap one of my buttons to the tab key uh, and that was very important for a ZX Spectrum emulator called Spectaculator uh, which doesn't actually uh, allow you to remap keys within the emulator so I was forced to remap Arduino uh, so that I could use that so I will uh, I'll now uh, fire a few things up and uh, show you what it all looks like Okay, on to the software side of things. So uh, this is my little Visual Basic 6 app that I wrote, uh, which acts as a menu system for accessing the various emulators that I've got uh, on the Picade. So obviously the Arcade is the principal one of those using MAME, but I've also got Atari ST emulators using Steam. Um, WinUAE is a new addition for the Amiga emulator. Uh, so I've got that working. I'll show you a bit of that in Mo. Um, but basically the Visual Basic 6 app, uh, as I mentioned before, uses a Microsoft Access database that holds information about menu positions and uh, command lines for firing up 
uh, emulators but there's quite a bit of work that has to be done on each emulator and the save states for each game on each emulator to get them in a, a way where all the right keys are mapped and everything uh, and before I re map the keys on the Arduino PCB I, I had a problem with the ZX Spectrum emulator because that uses tab for fire which wasn't one of the pre-mapped buttons on the Arduino and uh, unfortunately the Spectaculator emulator doesn't let you remap tab to a different button so I had to uh, go the other route which was uh, as I say to update the uh, Arduino PCB and map tab to one of my buttons so I've now done that uh, and I can sort of uh, use um, uh, use tab uh, as the fire button uh, which I couldn't previously so uh, just show that with a bit of the old classic renegade got him got him got him got him or oh, got him ah down um, and uh, that works really well and the other the other cool thing I've done with the uh, the old uh, ZX spectrum uh, emulator is where, where I've got like the third level menu system so for like Manic Miner I can save uh, at the beginning of every level so um, here we've got uh, we've got all 20 caverns um, and I can just jump straight into uh, sort of whichever cavern I want really um, so straight into uh, the uh, Endorian Forest Oops. I only worked out for the first time, I think last week, um, after having played this game for 30 years. I uh, only worked out that the Endorian Forest was, of course, uh, linked to Star Wars. But anyway, um, so I've also done that for Outrun. So uh, you can jump to any Outrun, straight into any Outrun level. Um, It's actually a really good conversion for the ZX Spectrum this, although it slows down horrendously. Uh, the frame rate drops off the edge of a cliff when you get these big sprites on the screen. Um, and so what else have I done? I had a problem where I had the cursor displaying last time and I've, I've now hidden the cursor. That, that wasn't as easy as it seemed actually because I had to uh, make an API call for that uh, in, in VB6. Um, uh, so quickly then I'll just show you a bit of the Amiga because uh, the Amiga I wasn't sure whether it would run, what sort of speed it would run at, but um, it runs no problem at all uh, on, on this um, mini ITX board that I've got in here. I, I was always an Atari ST person having had an, an ST for many years. Um, cannot uh, for a second deny that the uh, the graphics and the especially the sound are, are better on the Amiga um, but the games actually uh, certainly all my favorite games they, they play almost identically uh, on the two systems but um, obviously the, the Amiga does has it does have the advantage especially on the sound so something like Xenon 2 um, which pretty much is identic identical graphically but um, sound wise And um, just to show you quickly, uh, fire, fire that up on the ST. I also had a problem where um, if I did something like Alt and I think it was Alt and Control or something like that and uh, left on the old, uh, on the old joystick um, there was a window shortcut which I was completely unaware of but it kicked in and it basically rotated the screen 90 degrees either left or right which was uh, obviously massively uh, annoying um, but uh, I found out how you disable that quite an easy thing to disable I think it's just like one of the accessibility things in Windows um, but that, uh, that, that really really helped getting rid of that so um, that's pretty much it really I'll just show you very quickly uh, the new uh, the newly mapped buttons in action I'll dive into uh, something like um, uh, Doom 2 
and see if I can show you changing weapon using the uh, the newly mapped buttons, which was I've just mapped the buttons to uh, sort of the the numbers. Um, let's try one of these. Okay, so uh, there we've got the good old shotgun. Um, can change to the double shotgun. Uh, whatever I want, really. Oh no, I might. And um, just show you down here, that's these buttons here. And uh, so, yeah, that was, uh, that was remapping those. Okay, cool, so that's, uh, that's really about it. Um, I shall uh, play you out with the dulcet tones of uh, 1943.